Vladimir Putin has warned that the US anti-missile defence system in Europe risks the entire region's safety. Rockets within a 500-kilometre range are being positioned in Romania now. Rockets with a 1,000-kilometre range are on the way. But what's even worse? These rockets can easily be replaced at any moment with long-range rockets that can travel 2,400 kilometres and no one will notice, even the Romanians. This is a huge danger to us and we will have to react immediately. Those parts of Romania that didn't know what it's like to be in the crosshairs will have to face our countermeasures that ensure our safety. Well, the Russian president was speaking at a joint press conference with the Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras during Putin's visit to Athens. RT correspondent Roman Koshev has more from the Greek capital. Vladimir Putin said that the American anti-missile defense system in Eastern Europe poses a real threat to uh, Russia. That system was initially put in place uh, in uh, various countries uh, surrounding Russia in order to counter the Iranian nuclear threat. But uh, uh, due to certain agreements that were uh, made uh, recently, the Iranian nuclear threat uh, no longer exists. So all these uh, new anti-missile defense systems that are uh, being put in place, uh, all around Eastern Europe, uh, basically very close to Russian borders, really pose a threat to Moscow. The Russian president said that uh, Moscow is uh, ready to cooperate uh, on this anti-missile defense issues uh, with the United States. However, he added that uh, there is no one to talk to about that as uh, Moscow here is uh, no response to uh, this issue from the Americans. Gerald, we've been covering NATO's activity in the Baltics quite extensively, as well as uh, Russia buzzing our ships and buzzing our, our, our aircraft in the Baltics as well. Also, Poland is developing, with the United States and NATO, an anti-missile system. They've just put one in Romania as well. Putin is very upset about it, says it could be used for defensive, uh, offensive, not just defensive measures. And now we've got battalions being stationed there uh, in the Baltics. Why do you think NATO is building up their military in Eastern Europe? Because they're crazy. Look what's going on. Imagine if Russian ships are off Newport, where our bases are, or off Pensacola. What would the United States do? Serve them lemonade? Do you know what the United States would do? They would say that they were threatening and they'd blow them out of the water. What are we doing over there? How many more, how many more military failures does the Pentagon have to add up before you could call them a bunch of losers? Hey, you like Vietnam? Wasn't that a great one? Only killed 3.3 million people. Hey, what about Afghanistan? Great victory. Oh, Iraq is beautiful. Love Libya. Was thinking of going there for a vacation. Hey, let's bomb Syria. It's what Eisenhower said. The military industrial complex. He's a five star general, supreme commander of the Allied forces, two term president, a Republican. His farewell address warning the American people that the military industrial complex is robbing the nation of the genius of the scientists, the sweat of the laborers, and the future of the children. I just mentioned to you that. We're talking about Saudi Arabia. We just sold them what? $60 billion worth of armaments so that they can now kill more people in Yemen. Look at Obama over there in, in uh, Vietnam. That's right. Now they could buy all the weapons. He's taking the embargo off. Isn't that great? I hate these little liberals. They are the lowest lives. They are such cowardly little people. Because what they would do if Bush was doing this, they would all be out there up in Woodstock and other places protesting that the president of the United States has lifted the arms embargo on Vietnam. But when their guy does it, it's not even a peep. So it's about money. It's about money and madmen. And by the way, Things are heating up over there in Ukraine, too. You read the prostitute media in America. You know what they say? Russia invaded Ukraine. They repeat that line over and over again. Russia 
invaded Crimea. Oh yeah, they've been there for 200 years. Only a short period of time when it went back to Ukraine, and that's when Khrushchev, who was Ukrainian and was still under the Soviet Union, gave it back to them. So it's the United States, and it's not only there. Look what they're doing in the South China Sea. Again, a bunch of losers. I'm tired of these general jerks with their bad attitude telling me what they're going to do to bring victory when anybody that could add up could only show failure. And now they're doing it in the South China Sea, and Obama's there as we're putting military bases back in the Philippines, doing a deal with Vietnam, and now they've also said Chinese. Jets have threatened a United States reconnaissance plane on a routine mission. That's the crap language that the CNN prostitutes and the rest put out. Oh, where was this plane? Oh yeah, near a major naval and submarine base in China. So again, if we had the Chinese down in Pensacola and the Russian fleets off. Virginia. You think the United States would be sitting on its hands?